I am here at Prime Militia Lab and Filippo again. Nice to meet you again. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I've had better I, months. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> With three months there, I was doing fantastic. And last month, I've, it's been a little rough. Okay, okay. But, you know. But I mean, the future. Yeah, I hope so. Very good, very good. Well, here, he's got, something, he's got something really interesting on the table back here that I wanted to show everybody. It's this thing right here. So tell us about it. For oh, yeah, that's, that's the biggest version of our Esatto Focuser and Arco Rotator. Actually, I like to call it the Esatto Gigante. The Gigante <laughs> in Italy means huge, yeah, you know? Yeah. So uh, it's a 7.5 inches Esatto LP, low profile, matched with the 7 inches Arco Rotator, camera rotator and field rotator. So essentially, this is a huge version of our Esatto and Arco, the Focuser and Rotator, that we specifically developed for a research institute. They have a space research uh, a telescope and they have the need of uh, a huge focuser and they had a 40 kilos cameras, uh, 85 pounds, 90 pounds, so a big, huge camera. But more than a lot of people's scopes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the it's huge. And they they saw what we developed for the Esato and Arco and they said, hey, can you do something a lot bigger for us? And that was a, a challenge for all of uh, the, the team, but we did that. So we have it here. Yeah, can you tilt it up a little bit for the camera? Or oh yeah, it? so uh, this the, the bottom part is the Esato, so we have the low profile focuser. Okay. And, uh, that is the uh, 7.5 inches, uh, a free aperture, so it can fit any camera in the market, okay. essentially. Yeah. You can even rotate if you like. If you want to sit, you can rotate, <laughs> no problem. How, mu how much travel does it have? Uh, this has a 13 millimeter travel, and uh, the, 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 op the, the depth, the, the thickness, the optical thickness is just 90 millimeter. So it's very thin compared to the diameter, the dimension, and it has 40 kilos payload capacity. But still with subarc second resolution in terms of rotation, because they will use also as a field rotator, and with the incredible precision of the Esatto. Okay. With sub, um, I cannot even remember the number in reality, but mm -hmm. it's, it's Esatto. It's very, very precise. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here we are with one of your example setups. Right? Oh, yeah, this is a Takashi FSQ85, the baby Q, that we fully uh, uh, re take remote control thanks to the Esatto, the Arco, the Alto cover motor, and the Giotto flat field generator. Here we have the Echo environmental controller, but the new thing of this year is the brand new Eagle 6 that we have here. Essentially, this is the new release of the computer that we just uh, presented a couple of months ago. And not only we updated the processor, so now it's even faster, it has more memory, it has uh, three-band Wi-Fi capability, so it provides you even more range and less uh, sensitivity to other radio interferences with the out, uh, other signals, uh, like other Wi-Fi. But we specifically include uh, two main features that we uh, developed for remote control. Mm -hmm. And remote to me is not only remote telescopes. Remote control means also something that you can use to control your telescope in the backyard. Yes. And one of the questions that our user sent to me most is, how can I turn on remotely the e without having to go in the backyard and press the on button? Because it's too cold in the nighttime. It's easy. So there were a couple of ways to do that, but you, you have to find a workaround. And in this release, we focus on this request specifically. And that's why we developed the uh, observatory actions that essentially is, these are two parts that are related to specific action that you may trigger in the Eagle Manager X interface. Okay. Like you can have an external switch control that you can turn on with your phone and it will boot the eagle automatically so you don't have to go outside and press the on button or you can turn on big mounts and dome that are not powered normally through the eagle okay. if they need more power than the eagle can supply for example 
or you can connect external device like uh, security systems or weather stations that uh, simply send a signal to the eagle that let you activate a specific action. For example, if someone enters in your observatory, you want to turn off power, you can do that. And this is what we call observatory action. Okay. And the other feature is the lights out management. So the lights out management is not something that we really invented. It's a terminology that is used on data centers. In data centers computer, they have the need of uh, remotely control the computer without accessing to the operative system. Because sometimes you have trouble with the operative system, you just want to log in and check if everything is fine. So with the LOM, Lights Out Management, you can connect to the Eagle by passing windows. So you can use it to remotely turn on, again, that's another way to remotely turn on, but also to check if all the ports are okay, to all check all the sensors are okay, all the features of the Eagle, are they fine? Yes. And you can do that even if Windows doesn't respond to you. It's a great way to, to use it remotely. And that's why, why I think it's very important to notice that this type of technology that is usually used in large research institutes are now available on everyday telescopes. So, I know this happened to me recently as my gear got rained on. Oh. Now, do you, I, I think I heard once that somebody had built into a controller similar to this, the ability to switch the system off or alert you if there's rain detected. Oh, yeah, you can do that. On the Eagle, with the observatory actions, okay. you can do that. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's why this is, we call it them actions, because you can do any type of action you can program. Okay. So, depending on the type of sensor, have, you can create this action like a shortcut on your phone. You know, it's the same concept. And this way you can uh, create this action and apply to your system. Yeah. Very interesting, Filippo. I know uh, any developments on mounts? You guys, you don't make your own mounts, right? No, no, we don't. Well, the reality is that we are building a mount for our observatory. Okay. And we have a model of that on display in, in our booth. Do we want to see that? Sure. Well, let's go. So this is an example. Now, this is all 3D printed, right? Yeah, this is 3D printed. But in reality, I, 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 I would like to, to show that because it's our own observatory that we are uh, building for our own development. So it essentially it all started by the fact that we, we have an internal team of developers and we need to find a way in order to test more all the software part that we develop in the company. Mm -hmm. And what we did up to now essentially was to move with our telescope outside and you lose a lot of time. Yeah. So a couple of, well, let's say two years ago, we decided to build our own observatory. And we said, okay, instead of uh, buying a dome, why don't we design our own dome for ourselves? And we did that, so we designed the dome, and then it, we moved to the mount, and we said, well, instead of buying a mount, we don't have it, but why don't we design a mount okay. uh, that I would like to use? And so this is the model, but in reality, we have the mount in our own company that in this moment is under testing. So we made that. Uh, it's a direct drive Altad's mount. Mm -hmm. Uh, with um, uh, 350 pounds photographic payload capacity with 27 bit absolute en encoders and sub arc second resolution. So it's, it's a mount that the goal was well, I don't want to guide. That's it. I want a mount that is more precise than the sky. Okay. That's it. Okay, so that was. And this is something that happened also in the past because the Esatto Focuser were originally being developed for my own Edge HD telescope because I had an Edge HD and I remember I had a full night of uh, astrophotography on the Stefan Quintet mm -hmm. but I had to refocus all night long so the, 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 the yeah it was a nightmare <laughs> it was a nightmare so the picture is fine Okay, but I had to stay there and refocus mm -hmm. every every few minutes, essentially. Yeah. Every 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 uh, I, I, I 
was a eight minute eight minutes exposure and eight, eight, I do refocus to check and so when I came back the day after I went to my developer to my head designer and say hey Omar you have to make a autofocuser for my telescope and this is how the Azato focuser is really. Now you have a field rotator too, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why this is Altaz because essentially we have this dual telescope design. So we purchased from Celestron an Edge HD 14 and a Raso 11. So we are going to use uh, the um, the. Uh, Exato focuser with the arco rotator on the edge 14 okay. and then we have focuser for the Raza mm -hmm. and a special brand new unreleased mm -hmm. very special Arco, Why we do this? Yeah, yeah. Arco that we developed for the Raza and we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it will be a new product. We'll see. It's, it's our observatory. You heard it here first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a brand new tool. Well, th this is the thing of, of a show. Yeah. You shoot new things, even prototypes if you like. It's yeah. a show. Yeah, yeah, the great thing about, I love about Neef is that I get to come here and see all this stuff that is scientific and like would be way past the budgets of most people. But here you have people like Filippo who are trying to bring this to the common market so that the everyday man yeah. can do it. Yeah, absolutely, so. absolutely. That's why we like it. We love this type of thing. We like we love the, the everybody's product we always see we we are able to talk uh, and to find new solutions and that's the beauty of the system where there are many people working all together to explore the spa space that's it for passion all right Felipe, thank you so much good to see you here again great great to meet you again thank you very much thank all you all right